Hello everyone, I am Dr. Radhika Thorgal from Shaker Eye Hospital. I am a cornea, cataract and refractive consultant here. Today I am here to talk about chemical splash to the eye and what we can do as first aid uh, to save the eye from dangerous effects. So before going ahead to the first aid proper, I would like to discuss uh, what happens when a chemical splash happens to the eye. How does it affect the eye? So, when a chemical splash occurs, uh, it uh, come, the eye comes in contact with the chemical and the effect on the eye depends on what type of chemical it is and for the exposure time means for how long the chemical has been there in the eye. So it can affect different parts of the eye, like this is the front portion of the eye, that is the cornea and uh, the adjacent one is uh, sclera and conjunctiva. If the chemical penetration has occurred more deep, it goes into the anterior segment, that is the space between the cornea and the lens and uh, other structures like trabecular meshwork that causes increased eye pressure more deeper penetration uh, can cause more serious injuries. Also, it can affect the other parts of the face like in and around the eyes. So, that also has to be kept in mind. So, after discussing how it affects the eye, I would uh, like to discuss what are the common scenarios in which chemical injuries occur to the eye. Uh, one by one, we'll go ahead and discuss. The first thing is that at home, what chemicals can get into the eye and what can harm the eye. Uh, it can be as simple as uh, vinegar in the kitchen or uh, it can be other uh, uh, toiletries like uh, bathroom cleaners or hair pick or some other disinfectants in the eye can get into the eye and they can cause damage. It can be simple things like a uh, a headache, balm getting into the eye that also causes a toxic reaction in the eye or it can be some other uh, uh, drops or syrups or uh, in, inhaling med Ayurvedic med medicines uh, which can be accidentally uh, put into the eye and they can cause, have toxic effects in the eye. So these are the scenarios at home. Next, coming to occupational scenarios where during the workplace uh, you are exposed, one is exposed to chemicals uh, like uh, uh, at construction sites or anything, uh, cement or concrete can get into the eye or uh, during the painting process or uh, in painters, lime or something like that can get into the eye uh, or uh, if one is dealing with uh, uh, batteries like it uh, it has sulfuric acid H2SO4 so that can get into the eye and especially in the batteries it is uh, packed in pressurized containers so the jet with which the acid comes to the eye also is uh, important it causes hazardous effects to the eye um, the third scenario is uh, it can be in schools or uh, colleges where one is uh, doing experiments in the chemistry lab. So it is very important uh, when one is working in the chemistry lab, some protective glasses or goggles or some gear, headgear has to be used so that there is no accidental uh, entry of chemicals into the eye. Okay, since now that we have discussed about what scenarios can cause a chemical splash, it is important to know what uh, as a patient we can do uh, so as to reduce the damage to the eye uh, like first aid. So what we can do is immediately wash the eye uh, with water, preferably drinking water if one has access to it. But if not, even tap water will do because it uh, definitely helps in getting rid of the chemical from the eye. Okay, so uh, tap water, copious irrigation with uh, tap water, uh, make sure uh, while irrigating in, in the sense washing the eye, uh, the chemical does not pass on to the other eye, uh, try to uh, tilt the head 
uh, on the uh, that side of the eye like if the right eye the chemical splash is there till the head on the right side and wash it with water so that whatever chemicals uh, exit from the eye they go down they don't enter into the eye or on the face uh, on the lower part of the face so washing the eye is the first most important thing which can be done uh, to save the eye so once this initial first aid of washing the eye is done uh, try and uh, take a, a quick consultation from your ophthalmology uh, ophthalmologist uh, because uh, chemical injury is one uh, condition in the eye uh, which is truly an emergency situation uh, which needs immediate attention so as soon as possible try to meet your ophthalmologist and uh, take treatment there when you go the ophthalmologist will see and if any residual more chemicals are left in the eye uh, it will be washed and appropriate treatment will be suggested and uh, which will uh, reduce the damage what has been already done and uh, it will help uh, to prevent any further complications Uh, do not try any home remedies like putting rose water or using milk or any oil uh, which can aggravate the situations or it can add super added infection on the chemically injured eye uh, try and get in touch with your ophthalmologist and he or she will be the most appropriate person to uh, treat the eye and uh, save the eye um, in that way Uh, first aid during chemical injury uh, plays a very important role in preventing uh, severe damages to the eye and it plays a very pivotal role uh, to ultimately predict the prognosis what will happen to the eye uh, after the healing phase starts so i would conclude my talk on first aid for chemical injuries by telling that uh there are some few take home points like if a chemical injury happens to the eye uh, first thing is do not uh, lose calm do not panic uh, wash the eye thoroughly and uh, get in touch with your ophthalmologist who will treat the eye appropriately and thus reduce any hazardous effects on the eye At the end I am thankful to you all for your patient listening and hope this uh, video is useful to you all